Hey, what's up, folks? How you doing? So, um, first things first, let's state the obvious. I'm not on my usual uh, setup because I'm not home. It's a boring weekend and I'm somewhere in the outskirts of town. <laughs> and I just thought it right to kind of, you know, talk about something because I felt it burning in my chest. Yeah, and uh, this is slightly related to a video I put out just a few days ago on free will. And this is just kind of like a concept purely talking about strict physical determinism in light of like uh, Laplace's demon. But of course the, the phrase Laplace's demon shouldn't be like mistaken with a mythical red-faced demon with two horns. It's simply a thought experiment dating back to over two centuries. Pierre Simon Laplace described this thought experiment in 1814 in his book A Philosophical Essay on Probabilities. It is this idea, this very idea, that would later come to be known as Laplace's demon. So let's give it some context first of all. In the 17th century, a scientific revolution unfolded with Sir Isaac Newton's development of calculus and classical mechanics, reshaping how scientists perceived nature. Newton's equations allowed for the precise determination of body dynamics, marking a pivotal shift in, the, uh, in scientific understanding. Building upon Newton's foundation, Laplace further advanced scientific thought in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. His famous statement, often dubbed Laplace's demon, encapsulates his deterministic worldview. He wrote something like, um, The present state of the universe is the effect of its past and the cause of its future. An intellect which at a certain moment would know all forces that set nature in motion, and all positions of all items of which nature is composed. If this intellect was also vast enough to submit these data to analysis, it would embrace in a single formula the movements of the greatest bodies of the universe and those of the tiniest atom. For such an intellect, nothing will be uncertain and the future, just like the past, would be present before its eyes. So basically what Laplace was trying to get at there is like envision a hypothetical super intelligence capable of knowing the precise positions, velocities and forces of every particle in the universe at any given moment, thereby possessing total knowledge of the universe across all time. Um, and when viewed purely as a thought experiment, focus solely on the concept of such omniscient knowledge, Laplace's demon can be interpreted as a secular analogy to an omniscient god with perfect foresight. Laplace's perspective suggests that information remains constant throughout time, implying a conservation of information akin to the conservation of laws of mass and energy. So th this concept of Laplace's demon explores the idea of strict physical determinism through a hypothetical superintelligence. This depiction of determinism suggests that every event, from the grand motions of celestial bodies to the smallest atomic interactions, unfolds in a predetermined sequence dictated by its preceding conditions. Laplace's demon serves as a conceptual tool to explore the boundaries of knowledge and the predictability of the universe. But let's flesh it out a bit and re-emphasize some vital points. So determinism posits that every event, including human actions, is determined by preceding events according to causal laws. In the context of Laplace's demon, this means that if one could know the precise positions, velocities, and forces of all particles in the universe at any given moment, one could predict with certainty the future state of the universe. So Laplace's deterministic worldview tends to align with the block universe theory, also known as eternalism or four-dimensionalism. In this view, the past, present, and the future all exist equally as real concrete entities. The universe is visualized as a block of space-time, where every event in time has a fixed position, similar to how all locations in space exist simultaneously. So in a sense, the T-invariance of fundamental laws seems to confirm this type of Laplace's interpretation. The T-invariance simply refers to the time symmetry of fundamental physical laws. It implies that the laws of physics do not distinguish between past and future directions of time. They are invariant under time reversal. This symmetry supports the idea that the universe's laws operate consistently across all time, reinforcing the static nature of the block universe. But yes, of course, uh, Laplace's demon has a lot of like strong criticism and has faced very very significant criticism over the years, primarily regarding the practicality and feasibility of such an intellect. The first um, criticism just off the top of my head that I can think of is information overload. So the sheer volume of data required to describe every particle in the universe, even at a single moment, is astronomical. This poses challenges not only in terms of like collection, but also in storage and processing power. Then the second uh, Criticism is uh, something that borders on thermodynamic constraints. 
So the second law of thermodynamics discovered late in the 19th century introduces the concept of entropy, the tendency of systems to increase in disorder over time. This implies that information about the past is not perfectly preserved and retrievable, challenging Laplace's assumption of information conservation. So as time progresses, the entropy of a system representing its disorder inevitably increases. This increase extends universally, implying that the entire universe tends towards greater disorder over time, making accurate predictions progressively challenging. And again, Laplace's demon aims to deduce the past by meticulously reconstructing the present. However, the principle of thermodynamics irreversibility complicates this whole endeavor. Certain processes are irreversible, meaning they cannot be reverted to their original state. Consequently, deducing the initial state from the present becomes impractical, as some information about uh, past configurations is irreversibly lost. And then the other criticism kind of falls under quantum mechanics. So the advent of quantum mechanics in the early 20th century further complicated uh, determinism. Quantum phenomena such as indeterminacy and wave-particle duality suggest inherent randomness at the microscopic level, where predictions are probabilistic rather than deterministic. Quantum mechanics undeniably introduced an indeterministic view of the universe, posing the greatest challenge to classical deterministic models. It asserts that subatomic particles do not conform to the predictable laws of classical mechanics. Instead, their behavior is probabilistic. This probabilistic nature means predictions are based on likelihoods rather than certainties. For Laplace's demon, which seeks precision and certainty, this poses a fundamental problem. And then to make it worse, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle fundamentally undermines Laplace's demon. According to this principle, it is impossible to precisely determine both the position and velocity of a particle simultaneously. The more accurately we know one of these properties, the less certain we become about the other. Given that Laplace's demon requires exact knowledge of every particle's position and velocity to make predictions, the uncertainty principle renders this task close to impossible. Impossible. Particles are described by wave functions. That includes information about their position and momentum, which theoretically can be determined. Yeah. But however, even this level of determinism is challenged by the existence of black holes, which just makes things worse. Just send shit off the fan. When particles enter a black hole, it becomes impossible to predict their final state or what happens to the information they carry. There is even that issue of, uh, <clears throat> there's even the information paradox. I'm not trying to conflate two things here, but it's practically kind of speaking into the same thing. We do not know what happens to information that falls into a black hole. And then there's chaos theory, which encompasses several key ideas with the butterfly effect being a prominent example. This concept illustrates how small actions can lead to significant outcomes, symbolizing the interconnectedness of events. However, its essence lies in unpredictability. For instance, the flapping of a butterfly's wings might potentially trigger a tornado, but it could equally result in a gentle breeze somewhere distant. The outcome is uncertain and cannot be known with absolute certainty. In chaotic systems, even all variables are precisely known. Minor changes can cascade into substantial variations over time. With Repeated iterations, these systems exhibit unpredictable behaviors, highlighting their inherent complexity and sensitivity to initial conditions. All these pose very serious problems for um, Laplace's demon. But then if we switch up the game a little bit and talk about this philosophically and the implications that Laplace's demon raises, I think it's pretty uh, straightforward to note that it raises profound questions about determinism, free will, and the nature of knowledge. If every event, for example, in the universe is determined by antecedent conditions, as Laplace's demon implies, it challenges notions of free will and agency. Are human actions predetermined by past events or do we possess genuine freedom to choose our paths? If you haven't seen my video, perhaps this is the point you should check it out. And then there's the nature of knowledge. Laplace's view of a universe governed by precise laws and predictable outcomes parallels theological debates about divine omniscience. Is the concept of Laplace's demon a secular counterpart to the idea of an all-knowing God? Could be, I don't know. And then there's the issue of the evolution of scientific thought. So the critique of Laplace's demon spurred developments in chaos theory and complexity science. These fields recognize that even deterministic systems can exhibit unpredictable behaviors due to sensitivity to initial conditions. Butterfly effect, for example. So, um... To wrap, I think it should be noted that 
The scientific consensus leans towards a nuanced understanding where deterministic laws govern microscopic phenomena, while quantum uncertainty introduces probabilistic outcomes at smaller scales. This view reconciles deterministic principles with the inherent unpredictability observed in nature. While Laplace's demon serves as a thought experiment, illuminating the allure and limits of determinism, its exploration has enriched both scientific and philosophical discourse, shaping our understanding of causality, knowledge, and the nature of reality.